Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Today I'd like to give a class and kind of go over a few things on uh, wills, healthcare power of attorney, uh, trusts, uh, trust for minors, and what probate is. Um, over the weekend and several times, one of the things I do with my profession is we help people with their wills, their healthcare power of attorney stuff. However, people don't understand it. So this is not a business thing. This is just me going to educate you real quick on what a will can do for you, what your healthcare power of attorney can do for you, uh, trust for minors, and what probate is. Because a lot of people do not understand. They understand what a will is. You leave your assets or something happens. But they don't understand what probate is. All right. And to me, I feel that's a big concern for a lot of people, especially if you're in Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Indiana, that are all probate states. Uh, a lot of people, when they uh, they don't think much of what they have or if they get an accident or anything else, however, in these particular states, everything goes into probate. Now, I got the definition up on my computer over here. Probate is the court-supervised process of authenticating a last will and testament if the deceased made one. It includes locating and determining the value of the descendant's assets, paying his final bills and taxes, then distributing the remainder of the estate to his rightful heirs or beneficiaries. In other words, if you don't have a will done and everything that you own or who you are, everything will go into what's called a probate court. Without a will, the court now is in charge of all of your assets. They're in charge of any uh, money that you may have been awarded in an accidental death or something that of that nature. Probate court's going to determine to who your kids are going to go to. If family members decide to start fighting over who's who, a probate court, a judge is now in charge of all of your assets. A judge is in charge of who you are, what you're worth, what's going on, not your, not your wife, not your kids, not your family, but a judge. A judge that is appointed by the state is now going to be in charge of your last will and testament. Uh, Sherry Sharvenly happened down in Florida, if you all remember her. Her husband wanted to keep her on the feeding tubes. Her mom and dad wanted to take her off. However, without a will and without a uh, living will or power of attorney or anything else, it got tied up in court for a long period of time. Now, the husband was not wrong. Neither were the mom and dad. Both of them loved their daughter. Both of them had the best um, intent for them. But guess what? Because... It, she never had a will or a last testament. They fought in court over whether or not the feeding tube should be removed or not. A lot of you know who Prince is. Prince did not have a will, yet he left behind many assets and everything else. And so it was up to the court to determine where all of Prince's belongings go, his assets go, you know, who gets what. Because if there's no definite marker on how to determine on where things go, the court is going to basically make that judgment call for you unless you have a last will or testament. Now, why am I bringing this up? Why is this important to me today? Well, y'all heard about the 15 Marines and one corpsman, which is Navy, that died in the plane wreck. You know, it was a refueling midair over Mississippi uh, about a week ago. Okay, there was also some Marines that got hit by lightning over in Cherry Point. There were some Army soldiers that got killed. There's a lot of training accidents that happen. I deal with a lot of truck drivers and factory workers. A lot of truck drivers on the ice and snow get killed or, you know, get put in comas. Factory workers, accidents happen every single day. However, by not having your will done, now the state and the courts are in charge of your assets. However, if you have a will done, your final will and testament done, you are in charge of all this. So the biggest point of this is, why is a will important? Why is your healthcare power of attorney important? Why are trusts important? What is the big meaning behind probate? Why do all these states go to probate? Probate is going to take over all of your affairs and they're going to appoint a judge if you have no proof or paperwork saying what you want done with your assets or what you want to go on with yourself if you're in a coma, if you are dying, if something happens, you know, if you're plugged into life support, who's going to um, unplug the life support? Um, who, or who your kids are going to go to? What if you have a family member you don't want your children to go to, yet you don't, you're alive, but you're in a coma and you're the sole provider for those children. Now the court's going to put them with a family member or a friend 
that are arguing out for your kids that you don't want them to go with because you don't trust them? What if there was money left behind because of a court case? Or what if you got an accidental death or you died on a highway or, you know, at the factory something fell on you or you had a heart attack? You know, situations happen every single day. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, when we were down stationed down in Central America for a little while, uh, a lot of my Marine Corps, there was a situation that happened with an Osprey. Well, several Marines died in training, okay? So it's good to have your will done. A lot of people say, oh, well, mom and dad took care of that, or I did that in boot camp, or, you know, I'll get one done later. Guess what? Tomorrow's not promised for you by any means. And what a will does is you fill out the will and the power of attorney and stuff like that, you send it into the lawyer, the lawyer sent it back, you get it notarized. Well, you can go get a free notary by going over to the library or maybe going to the city hall or somewhere and having a notary uh, sign it. We have notaries here, but what I'm saying, this is not a sales thing. This is me just telling you how important a will is and why your will and your last, uh, t uh, um, last testament is very important to you. A lot of people also don't realize that you can take videos now with your phone and you don't need a lawyer to actually go over any, you know, you don't need a lawyer to videotape you anymore. You can actually use your phone and then you can put that into your will to go look at your phone. So it's you talking to on your will, okay? Like to me, one of the biggest things is I, I'll get my phone like this and I've got my nine-year-old daughter, Gracie, and I, and I will, and I usually give demonstrations about this when I go talk to people about their will and their last testament. So you turn on your phone, you say, today is July 18th, 2017. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Um, I am leaving this for my daughter, Gracie Ann, and for anybody else in case you want to do it. And you look at it, and you basically like, I just want you to know if anything were to happen to me, I want you to know I love you with my entire heart. You're my little girl, and there's nothing I would not do for you. However, for some reason, if you're seeing this, that means I'm either in a coma, I'm unable to take care of myself right now, or I have passed on, and now I'm going to watch over you from heaven. But I want you to know I love you with my entire heart. I want you to know I'm proud of you. I want you to know you're the most important thing to me in my entire life. I want you to take care of your mommy and your sister. I want you to take care of your grandpas. I want you to be there for everybody. It doesn't matter how I felt about people. I want you to know to always love and trust people. And if they take advantage of you, go to somebody else. Okay? Never be taken advantage of. Okay? Just know that you're a good little girl and I love you with my entire heart. And that no matter what happens to me, I'm always going to watch over you. I'm always going to be there for you. Make sure to pray to God. Make sure that you say your prayers every night. Make sure you brush your teeth every day. Make sure that when you go to school, you get your homework done. But always live your dreams. Always go after those dreams you want to go after. I love you very much. I'm your daddy, and I've always been proud of you, and I always will be. And I'm going to be looking over you now. Love, daddy. See, you can leave a will like that, okay? You can leave something to your kids. Leave something to your father. Now, on the will, it's going to ask you what your assets are. It's going to ask you, you know, different questions and everything else. You have to fill it out. You send it over to your attorney. They type it all up. They send it back to you. You have it notarized, and they put it away in a secure place. Okay? Now, a will's not that hard to do, especially if you get it through somebody like me. You know, I can do it for less than $5 a week. You know, if you guys want me to. In the military, they'll do it for you for free. You fill it out. You send it in the JAG. They will type it all up or you get it notarized there at your unit. Truck drivers, you know, maybe, you know, all you have to do is find a person like me to get your will done. Now, you can go into a lawyer. A lawyer will write up your will. Any lawyer anywhere will do a will for you. Now, they're going to cost a little bit, but at least you got your will done. Okay, if you don't have the money, then you get a hold of somebody like me that can get it all up and going for you. Leave a will on your phone, whatever you have to do. But a will and healthcare power of attorney is very, very important. If you want me to help you out with your will, give me a call at 217-316-0219, and I will do it for about $18.95, $19.95 a month. And guess what? It's good for your entire life. And if you stay with our company, we'll update it every year for you. If you need your wills updated, we'll update them for you. But this is not me trying to say, I'm just telling you the, the impact and how important a will and a healthcare power of attorney is. Now, what if you want to leave a trust for your children? How do you do that? These are important to me because I see so many people that don't have it done, yet there's accidents every single day. Turn on the news right now. I bet you at least, okay, how about this one? Nine people just died due to a flash flood, okay, that happened in a canyon. Nine people, everywhere from two years old all the way, and it's an entire family. They weren't expecting a flash flood to kill them. Now they're going to be in heaven with God right now, and I understand that. But would they not have liked to have left something 
for their family? Would they have not liked to have left a final word to them to let them know that, hey, I love you, you're important. Look, your will is very, very important. I can't tell you enough how to get your will done, what you need to do to have your will. But remember to get your will and your healthcare power of attorney taken care of. If you need somebody like me to take care of it for you, I will. But they are one of the most important things. When my mom died years ago, it cost my dad thousands of dollars to get his will and healthcare power of attorney done with our family lawyer. Okay? Nowadays, you can get it done for about, I don't know, go online and fill one out. Uh, you get one for me. I can get it done for you for about eighteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five. sorry. Um, you can go to a lawyer and they'll get it done for maybe some of them will charge 50, 100, depending on how big your estate is. The bigger your estate, it may cost you a little bit. With us, it doesn't. It's, we'll do the entire thing for you. But I'm just saying, it's very important to get your will and healthcare power of attorney. You got to quit thinking that you're a nobody. You got to quit thinking that who you are doesn't matter. I have people tell me that in the identity theft arena all the time. Oh, they can have what I got. Well, what they have is you. What they're using is you. They're stealing your identity. They're, they're a theft of you. Okay, they're voting in your name. Okay, they're doing politics in your name. And if you don't think it matters, then you don't matter. And each one of you matters. And each one of you has to understand that you are special. You're an individual. And having a will and healthcare power of attorney means the world. And if you don't have one, in the end, you know, you're, you, you got to look at your family as they're important. That means if you don't get one done, then your family's not important to you. And I'm saying that because who do you want your kids to be left with? Who do you want the bills to be? Who do you want to take over your assets? You know, I mean, people like, oh, really? My family's important. Good. Then get a will done. Quit sitting there coming up with excuses for everything else and take care of your person. Take care of who you are. If you're in a coma and life support or something else, who's going to take care of you? Who's going to answer for you? Who's going to speak on your behalf? Who's going to have your power of attorney? Okay, each U.S. state has specific laws in place to determine what is required in your estate in probate. These laws are referred to as probate codes. When a descendant dies without a will, they may be called laws for interstate succession or something similar. Probate is still required to pay the descendant's final bills and distribute his estate even when he dies without a will. Although the laws governing probate can vary from state to state, they're generally very similar. The following steps typically require authenticating the last will and testament. If the descendant left a will, the judge will confirm that it is in fact the most recent valid will signed by him. Appointing a personal representative. The judge will appoint a personal representative, also called an executor or administrator, to oversee the probate process and to settle the estate. The descendant's choice for an executor is typically included in his will. In the absence of a will, the court may appoint next of kin. In other words, if you don't put down who you want to be your executor of your estate, the court's going to appoint that person. Locating the descendant's assets, the personal representative will locate and protect all the descendant's assets. What if you got a family member you can't trust? What if you got a sibling that wants to take all the money and they, they, they basically hide everything? You know, you've got to have somebody you trust. Determining date of death values. The personal representative will determine the date of death values for the descendant's assets through account statements and appraisals. Identifying known creditors. The personal representative will identify all the descendant's creditors and notify them of death. She may also be required to publish notice of the death in a local newspaper to alert creditors that she may be not known about. Creditors typically have a limited period of time after receiving the notice to make claims against the estate for the money they're owed. In other words, if there's bills to be made, it's going to go against the estate. If you get that estate, you're responsible for it. So, but they have a limited number of time. Including creditors' claims, she can reject claims if she has reason to believe they're not valid. The creditor might then petition the court to have a probate judge decide whether the claim should be paid. There's a lot of scumbags out there and a lot of businesses out there that will actually put their name into things because they know you can't say yay or nay on it because they're just trying to get free money. They're trying to get free assets. So they will actually, they're frivolous lawsuits, they're frivolous claims. So you have to know what's the difference between frivolous is and what's actually going on. And if you are appointed by a judge, that person will never know that, which means your assets could be going to somebody that has nothing to do. They don't even know who you are, but they're getting your assets because they're robbing you blind. And there are companies out there that do that. Not many, but almost every single court case, somebody's always putting in because they're just taking a chance. They're throwing out, oh, hey, I can get free money. 
Don't let that happen to your estate. Don't let that happen to who you are. I know I've seen it happen many times. The descendant's final personal income tax return shall determine if the estate is liable for any inheritance taxes. And if so, file these tax returns as well. She will pay any taxes due from the estate funds, liquidating assets if necessary. Estate taxes are usually due within nine months of the descendant's date of death. Um, have been completed, a person representative can petition the court for permission to distribute what is left of the descendant's assets to the beneficiaries named in the will. Who's the beneficiary? Who's going to get if there's money left behind, if there is lawsuits that that person won because of the death, if there's kids, family members, next of kin, blood relatives, adopted relatives, foster care, uh, if they're married. Um, you know, sometimes I've seen ex-wives or ex-husbands go after it, yet they've been married three or four times. And that one first time is like, oh, no, I get it all. And guess what? The first person will get it because nothing was changed. Nothing was updated. So you want to make sure that these are taken care of and provided accordingly. Interstate estate, okay? Well, anyway, I can go by these one at a time. I just want you to know the importance of a will. If you want more advice, give me a call. I can do a video conference with you. I can talk to you on the phone about it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're at. Make sure you get your will and your healthcare power of attorney done, your trust for minors done. These are very important and they mean the world to me because I'm watching my brothers and sisters that are in the military, that are truck drivers, that are factory workers. Everyday accidents happen. And the families are getting nothing out of the ordeal because other people take advantage of them because they didn't have a will or power of attorney. And who's to argue saying a person with a, with a better lawyer can win? So if you have a will, leave a will for your family. Leave a voice message for your family and put it in your will. I'm not saying that's going to be your will. I'm saying put it in your will. But make sure at all times your will and your healthcare power of attorney are taken care of and they're updated. If you need to get it updated, find a person that can do it. Can I do it? Yes, I can. But I'm also saying other lawyers can do it also. But if you want to get it done, I will do it for $19.95 and then it's good for life. And every year you're part of us, we'll update it for you. If you want somebody else to do it, they can run up, they can run thousands and thousands of dollars for anybody else. You can also call the state. Maybe some states you can get it done for free. Maybe you can go over if you're one of these people that are on food stamps and have to have different things. You can get yours done. But remember this. Get it done. It's worth it. Okay? Nobody thinks they're important. However, you may not think you're important, but the person next to you, your kids think you're important. You matter. Every time I tell people they matter, I mean that. Every time I say that you're important, I mean that. Every time I tell you that you mean the world, I mean that. But you need to have your will and healthcare power of attorney done. I'm telling you this because I'm watching my brothers and sisters in the Marine Corps and the Army and everything else die in training accidents and they don't have wills and they have no power, which means a judge is in charge of everything they do. If you have a business, if you have a family, if you have kids, you must get your will done and your healthcare power of attorney done because, and you need to let other people know they need to get theirs done also. Why? Because you matter. You mean the world. What if there's money left behind? What if there's assets? Who's going to get the bills? Who's going to get your property? What if you bought something sometime and it gets put in a, in a, um, a garage sale for like 50 cents, yet to you it's priceless and it should be left to your children or your grandchildren? Who's going to get that? Nobody knows because you didn't leave a will or health care power of attorney. You didn't let people know. Now, most military, they have a, a, a $250,000 life insurance policy. Some of them have a little bit more. And what happens if they die in a training accident? Have they left behind a will to let the people know who gets that money? Or is the state going to get that money? Or is it going to be distributed amongst people that did not need it? My point to you is you take care of your mind, you take care of your body, like I tell you all the time, but what's, who's going to take care of you if something happens to you? This is the next step of life where you have to be a responsible adult. By getting your will and your healthcare power attorney done, trust for minors, make sure you get your trust for minors done, make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of everything that is part of you, okay? And if you need help, I'll help you. My name is Jeffrey W. Jansen. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I'm a Legal Shield, independent Legal Shield associate. We do wills all the time, but you don't have to go to me. Go to your local law firm. Go to online and look at what a will is. And if you think it's going to cost too much, then call somebody like me. I'll help you out. But make sure you get it done. I'm tired of seeing my brothers and sisters get killed in training and their families are left with nothing or people come in and lie, cheat, and steal to get assets when they didn't even know the person. But now they're getting free money off of my brothers and sisters. They're getting free money off of the truck drivers out there because the truck drivers didn't think they were important when they are. 
look, you're taking care of your mind and your body, going to health centers, going to the physical fitness centers, and going to all these other places, and that is great. But now, what's going to happen in a time of emergency if something does happen? Heart failure, uh, traffic accidents, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's. What's going to happen when all these things set in, which eventually will? What happens during those flash floods when nine beautiful people died and they had no clue that there was going to be a flash flood. What about all those wildfires going on going on, and people die because a tree fell on them or the firefighters died in an accident? A will is important. Take care of everybody.